Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you have me watching this during the day. For me, it's morning because you can probably tell by my groggy looking face, but uh, I want to make a quick video, hopefully it's quick, of some projects that I'm doing between Christmas and New Year's, uh, some RC stuff. So a few weeks ago, I got this email from Spectrum that there's an airwear update for my radio. This is for uh, for all of these models. I Mine is the DX6 G2, but the coolest thing is, look at this, uh, a lap timer has been added for FPV racers. That's awesome, a lap timer. I've, uh, I've already got the community page up and open and logged in, ready to download software. So it says down here that uh, version 1.06, start the download process. And we will, see what happens. Uh, SAX file, I think you just put it on the SD card. I'll, I'll walk you through that once we get there. Okay, I've confirmed that uh, version 1.06 is what I need and it does show here that the um, that they've added FPV racers. And here's all the change logs if you want to read through and see all the things that they've fixed and changed and updated. And also it says that I have to update my audio system software too. Take a quick look at my radio. I'm currently running version 1.05 and uh, audio version 1.08. So I do need to update both of them. So how I'm going to do that is there's an SD card in the radio. That's how you do the firmware updates and save your and save your information. It's just a small little one that I use because there's almost no data that you need to save on these things. It's very small. I just used an old 32 megabyte SD card from an old camera that I have. So I'm going to put that in this reader. I'm going to transfer on the files that I've downloaded. Let me show you those real quick. Um, so here's my old Here's all my save files and stuff, my backups from my radio, but I just made this new folder here and here's the new files I'll be putting on, the sound software and the system software. So I'll get those transferred onto the SD card and I'll put the SD card back in the radio and then I'll show you how you install it. Okay, I have transferred the files to the root of this SD card. Let me just install that, turn this back on and I'll try and uh, walk you through the, the setup. Oh, it looks like so it's automatically detected. Yeah, it's it's automatically detected and doing the update based on the SD card already. So it's doing the firmware flash right now with no interaction for me other than putting in the card with the new firmware in the on the root of the SD card. All right, that was a little bit concerning actually with how many times that flipped on and off and on and off. We need to do the, okay, now we need to do the sound update as well that it wants along with it. So press your roller, go down to system setup, turn off your radio. That, that turns off the, um, the antenna when you're, when you're fooling around in these system menus. Now there's something for transfer, yeah, transfer SD card. Select an option. My option is going to be uh, update sound. Yes, I want to update sound with my 1.09. Please stand by. Now it's updating my sound profile because this radio talks to you, so that's why it needs new sound files. Okay, this looks to be a very slow process, so I'm going to turn the camera off, I'll come back when it's done, and we'll try and figure out how to use the new lap timer system. Okay, the sound file is finally updated, that took a long time, but now I want to show you the, um, the lap timer. So now we have all the software's been updated. If I go into the menu now, there's some new options in here. I haven't fully investigated everything, but a couple things jumped out at me right away. First of all, video transmitter setup, VTX setup, that seems, I don't remember that before. If you go into this, now it allows you to change your channel band power mode for a video transmitter. This would be for the fancy quadcopters that you can um, change your video settings right from the radio. I don't have any that can do that yet, but now it's nice that this will do that.
here's the other new thing, lap timer. So this will need to be set up. Um, right now it's set all off. So let me go and set a switch. Um, oh, we want to, so you can do stopwatch or countdown timer. I think we'd want stopwatch. Max amount of laps. Mm. Uh, well, let's set it for like 10 laps to start. Probably zero means unlimited, but I'm not sure. Telemetry. So this is where if you were bought a bottle, oh, that's cool. So if you had a lap counter and it was connected to your VTX signal, it would do this automatically for you. I don't have any of that stuff. So let's go leave that off and we're going to set it to a switch. Um, we will likely set it to the momentary switch, which is I. I don't think I have I doing anything. I is the trainer button on a DX6. I is the button. So let's, um, let's set it for I. And right now the switch is off and if I press it, it'll, it'll show on. Yep. Okay. And enabled. I don't know what enabled. Probably yes. Next. Lap events. Every minute. Uh, I don't know what any of this is. Every lap. All right. I don't know what any of that does. It would uh, heat start, heat stop. All right. Let's go back and then see how we, how we start a lap timer. Okay, so now this is, since I've turned on the lap timer, now if I just roll over one, it goes into a telemetry type menu. Um, and if I go over two, then this is my lap timer. And now if I press my, I'm going to press the button. Did it start? It did not start. Time every lap. So these are, you can have your voice prompts. I haven't quite figured out how to get it to start working yet. Can't seem to get it to trigger. All right, I'll keep playing with it, see if I can get that figured out. All right, I figured out how to activate the lap timer. So it was something I was missing. You go into your lap timer, and as you saw before, this is where all my settings were, and I couldn't get it to activate. What I missed is when you're on your switch selection, you have to choose, you see it puts a box around where you want your switch to start. So you have to select, I want it to trigger when my switch is on, right? So on, I want the lap timer to initiate. So you click, you click and press the roller on what part of the switch you want to activate it. That's what I was missing. So now that's done. I can go back, go into my lap timer, and as soon as I press the button, lap started, and then fly, 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 I'm gonna go past the start gate. Six point three zero. Four point zero seven. Three point zero eight. 2.79 pretty neat and that's how you run the new lap timer uh, hopefully that was helpful it it i looked for information about how to do this i couldn't find any so hopefully this video will help anyone else in the future who's looking so thanks for watching if you like this video if you found this video to be helpful to you please uh, like share and subscribe thanks take care